All right, Smith and Wesson. I figured the best thing I could do was put a video up. I'm going to have to do this with one hand, so it's going to be a little difficult. This is a Smith and Wesson M&P 357 Shield. I'm sorry, Smith and Wesson 357 Sig uh, service style, four inch, four and a quarter, whatever. Had this gun for just over five years. This has been my go-to firearm for travel and everything else. I've carried it concealed, carried it open, I've carried it hunting, bow season. And this gun looks brand new. I have ran around 4,000, 5,000 rounds through it. The only wear on this firearm is the edges of the sights, front and back. And I got a little bit of wear right there, which is from a Black Hawk retention holster and a typical wear on the barrel hood other than that this gun looks brand new and I have not babied it I have used it a lot carried it a lot and I've been extremely happy with it matter of fact my my history with this firearm has actually put me into buy I've bought three other I'm sorry two other M&P style pistols now that said showing the minimum wear on this gun's finish it brings me to this video and my question or complaint again I've had this firearm five, just over five years now I bought this one just a few months ago uh, January it's now uh, May I've shot maybe 200 rounds to it, still doing my process of break-in. I've carried it a few times, not much, because I haven't really broke the gun in. I bought this to be my summertime carry, and I've started getting all kinds of marks. You can see this one right there on the top. I have no idea where it come from. It hasn't been used nowhere near as much as my 357 SIG. It hasn't been carried as much as my 357 SIG. It's only been carried a handful of times. It hasn't been treated any different. Actually, probably better than because it hasn't been carried much. In addition, it'd be hard to tell, but I got these weird brass looking scratches right there in the serrations and on the back of the slide right there. There's no real wear to the sights and the other corners and edges. But it seems to me that this, I believe it's melanite finish, is soft. Or something is wrong with it. This will not come out. I haven't been able to get that out. I don't really care. I mean, it is a carry gun, so it's going to get some wounds on it. But at this rate, this gun's going to be about naked by the time it gets as old as this one over here. I don't understand what the difference is as you can see there's also some weird rub marks to the side of the slide but if you look at the barrel hood it's just now starting to shine through like I said I only put a couple hundred rounds to it if you look right there it's just minimal wear let me uh, go to the barrel itself you can see almost no wear on the barrel Like I said, I've put just a few hundred rounds to it. But for some strange reason, I'm getting some crazy wear, or marks rather, on the finish. This is a comparison. Let me go back to this one. Thousands of rounds. Versus a couple hundred rounds. Really only one mark, which I know that's from the holster that I carried it in, usually during hunt season. I carry it during bow season. This one here is just getting marks already. I don't know. Like I said, I don't really care, but it does make me worry or wonder about the longevity of the finish of this firearm. So if you guys could get back with me, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you.